All right, Sunday night, working on the Skidoo. Just picked up a uh, heated visor kit. So this is the electrical connector setup that plugs into a prong that's hidden somewhere in this snowmobile. Um, and it allows me to plug in my heated helmet, uh, heated visor helmet. Um, so let's get started. This is the kit, this is the part number that I was sold at the dealership, this dealership. It's an instruction page. I guess you can go on this website, you type in the part number and uh, be able to get a whole bunch of information but it's relatively confusing and i think it started out in different language so um you and i are going to get to do this together Woo so this is the plug there's a five amp fuse yep and i guess what happens is this plugs in afterward i got to unplug that right now so this plugs in afterward and what you do is this pops through the plastic you're actually going to hook your connector so this connector is what goes through the plastic before you put it through the plastic on the machine uh, the instructions say to put the uh, the ground because I guess you want to ground it back to the prong itself over the threaded portion and that pushes through and then this little cap you got here um, let's go ahead and separate these this cap is actually what threads through so you'll have obviously the layer of plastic in your dashboard in here first then this thing threads on and sandwiches them together so <clears throat> this is the extended connector i guess and that'll get you up to where your your wire hooks in for your helmet so um i've noticed oh and they also give you a fancy little sticker that says oh my god heated helmet connector so I've noticed that um, there's not a whole lot of videos on this for uh, third generation skidoos. So I wanted to make a video, help somebody out, and we'll party along the way and get it figured out because there's a whole bunch of like older XMs that are slightly different and uh, skidoos of that era. This is a 2015 Summit um, 800. I'm an, I'm an Articat guy, that's a Suzuki. That's a Suzuki, this is my first skidoo, uh, so. They like to make it a little more complicated for no reason. Um, with this sled, there's literally a 12 volt cigarette lighter outlet and I go bloop. I plug in my heated um, DC adapter plug and then I ride. So we're gonna have to tear a whole bunch of crap apart but I guess it's not too complicated. So let's get the hood off. All right, first thing I did, pulled my little windshield out, three little prongs, it's super self-explanatory. Pulled the side panel off and then pulled the clutch cover off. sensor comes out and you can spin this entire air vent inward sometimes. should be four more screws. Two. Am I missing anything? I don't think that's it. 
just to I'll find out here in a second. Oh yes. I'm gonna plug up there. All right, so this sled is a 2015. It's not a 2016. This is called a ferrite kit. I don't know exactly what it does, but long story short, this is the connector I'm looking for. Right there. So that ferrite kit allows me to connect any electrical outlets to this plug, the original one we were looking for, um, without any interference. So this is an aftermarket part. That's why I couldn't find a connector because um, this was already plugged in and hidden underneath. So let's plug it in and um, fire this sled up and see if we get power to it. All right, so that plugs in right there. And we're going to fish this up right into there and do a, a connector. I'm tempted to just run this wire up and zip tie it up here so I don't have to drill into this thing. It's probably what's gonna happen. Do it the old Articat style. Maybe get fancy with it, make a little plate here. I don't know, we'll see here in a second. 515-178-088 is the part for this ferrite kit. So if your sled is older than 2016, mine's a 2015, that's what this ferrite kit part number is. Um, so if you don't have one of these, go ahead and pick it up. Otherwise, you're going to have interference um, when you plug this in. So, good luck. Well, there you go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So, plastic connector threads in on top. Um, this is an extension, I guess. I don't know why. Pretty sure you could plug your helmet in there, too. But I won't ask any questions. Um... Like I said, plugged it in here. I unplugged the desk just to get it out of the way. And then I drilled a, let's see what size it was. 11 30 seconds. And then popped it through with a little bit of persuasion. And now we're done. So I'm gonna put this thing back together and then fire it up and take a test light to it. See if it's got any power. Fun stuff. What's up shop dog? How you doing? You can take your provided zip tie in there. <laughs> Nerd status. And uh, just zip tie these all together and make sure they don't flop around. Cool. All right, so we're gonna take the test light because I don't have time to ride. Take it to the bar, she's for fun, that might work. This is on, kill some. Get our finishing touches. We got to put the sticker on. Now we're talking official. Cool. Leave a like if you enjoyed or this helped. Uh, definitely frustrating for me to try and find this. There's nothing online for Gen 3 stuff. Um, comment if you think my sled's ugly or cool, or if you want to see more videos on the fun stuff we've got around here. Check out the build on this. Check out the recent maintenance on this. Check out the bottom end rebuild on this. And there's more stuff laying around. So, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more cool content on sleds. Got a Chevelle project getting built with an LS. Um, got a lifted truck. Got a really frustrating Audi to work on. Do a lot of quads and mostly make money off lawnmowers. Woo!